Hello everybody and welcome back to Charwell. So today what we're doing is we're going back over to the poplar field from the previous episode and we're going to get all those bales loaded up and sold. Okay, I've already been hit by a smoke mixer today so I don't want to get hit again. Uh, luckily it was a, a virtual smell mixer in the game. Uh, so yeah, anyway, what we're going to do is get this grab attached to the tractor and we're going to get it put onto the back of the low loader. Now this low loader definitely cannot have ramps put on it, so that is that cleared up. Um, I did take a look, there is no way of doing it. But you could do I think in FS17, so that could be where there is a bit of confusion. Um, so yeah, we'll just put it on the back of here and we'll head over to the field. So yeah, I just have to do it this way, sadly. It works, kind of. Takes a while. <laughs> and well, it's uh, not recommended in real life, that's for sure. So, because the lorry is already facing that way, I think we should probably go that way. It might be easier anyway. Because then we'd have to go down that really twisty road. But anyway, yeah, the wood chips, that's what the poplars are going to be when you sell them. They're classed as wood chips. And the price of wood chips is actually impressive, which makes a change. I think probably, well, it's one of two reasons. Either the map just has a higher price for wood chips, it could be that, or it could be because I'm the host of the game and I did actually change the value of wood chips about three or four months ago. So it could be that. I did it on that Polish map. So it might have just changed it for every map, which is good. Because the price is, it's not just like a little bit more, it's not just a little bit better, it is considerably higher, so it's going to make it really good. It's going to make it all worthwhile. So Chainsaw has almost finished the poplars over here. Oh, he has finished the poplars over here. There we go. Um, and yes, it's just going to be a case now of loading all these bells up and getting them sold. Wait, I didn't even touch that. Cheeky. Very cheeky. Um, right, so, I'll put it right in the middle of the field. I suppose before we do start loading, I should return the poplar baler and the tractor which is over there to the yard. So, yes, I will do that. I'll just put it in here for now. Actually, it could really do with a wash. Next time we use it, or as soon as we get a bit of spare time. Okay, so here we are, back in the field. We'll get this fired up, and there's not really much point in doing this in real time. I'll do a few. We'll time out the rest, it always looks better. then yeah we'll have the the big cell and I really do hope it's gonna be impressive these are standard size bells we could have actually adjusted it it is compatible with the variable bell capacity mod but we just thought good grief no we didn't think that we thought that um, 4,000 would have been okay I can't believe it can't lift that I suppose yes it, it, is, it is dense material so I need a weight oh good Okay, so we're back. We've got a good chunk of weight sitting on the three-point linkage. And it's also kind of colour matched. Actually, I think I went for the more modern colour. But that is fine. This is a perfect example, though, of wheel weights having no effect in this game. They don't seem to work. They are purely there for looks. So hopefully in the next game, that will change. With a bit of luck. Okay, so... I think the two which I attempted to put together might have already been put onto the trailer. Uh, okay, he, he's he's flipping them over anyway. That is a tactic I'll have to get used to. So, stacking them like this, I guess. I've never done it myself. I usually do it the other way. Just drive up to them, stab them, and uh, load them onto the trailer. Right, okay. 
So once I've put the first one on, I stick it onto a time lapse, and then we can get the whole field completed. I don't think it's going to take too long. It seems like a fairly fast process. The most exciting thing is selling them anyway. But at least I can now pick them up. Okay, it seems to be in place. Good. Okay, right, well, I'll see you when it's all done. Will it fill the trailer? That's the question. Well, this is it. The final bale is just over here. Just one for me. Uh, but no, they very easily fit. In fact, it's a decent amount. Not quite as satisfying as a, a completely fully loaded trailer. But even so, for poplars, that is still pretty good. Uh, so I suppose I should just put mine on the top of those two. Since at least I thought those two might be going over there. Now I don't know. Yes. Okay. So I'll flip this one over. Whoops. Hmm. Actually, what I could do is sort of put it on top of all four to lock them in place. There we go. Time to check the price. Now, it should be around £800. At least it was before. Yes, it is. At Woodchip Cell Point. That makes sense. That would be the best place to take you to. So that is usually the place we go to, this sort of complex here. In fact, it's right next door to the bail cell point, so nice and easy. In fact, that couldn't be easier. Straight up the road, the hardest thing is going to be just distinguishing the two cell points. Actually, no, the hardest thing is going to be getting out of here and making sure I don't flip it. But that looks good. It's the whole field's worth of poplars all bailed up and put onto a trailer. Now this is the farm which we bought recently. We do own it if you missed the episode. We managed to get enough money from the harvest and we bought about six fields with that farm, including this field here on the right, I think. Yes. So yes, it all worked out. It worked out very well. We are going to start working there very soon. Hopefully next, actually. That'd be good. But first we have what I'm hoping is going to be some serious money to make. Okay, so here we are. Now I've actually just been calculating a few ways of doing this because I, I didn't think they would sell to begin with, but it just turns out to be a little bit of a sensitive trigger. I was going to just remove them and then add the money in the account, but no, the, the trigger is not exactly where the beacon of light appears. Uh, the beacon of light appears just, well, pretty much where we are here, but you have to sell it about here somewhere. Somewhere there. Okay, not quite there. Like I said, it is quite a sensitive cell point. Once I know exactly where it is, I'll be able to do it easily. Yes, my point exactly. Um, I will find it, and I'll let you know where it is. Oh, there it is. It, it, it's just there. I slipped up on it. Just there. So these are worth £3,279 each. Oh no, I've lost it. Was it this puddle? Yes, it's that puddle. That puddle just there. It's going to make it nice and easy. I suppose I could try and reverse the lorry in, but... Nah, now I'm here. And with it being so sensitive, 
I'll just unload it with the tractor. But we have got some seriously good money. Definitely worth doing. Okay, so there we go, all the bales have gone. I think from that we made 100, no we didn't, we made 92,000 approximately. 92,000 pounds from wood chips. It's unheard of, it's brilliant. Okay, so what we're gonna do is take this all back to the farm and we'll move on to the next job. That took longer than I was hoping for, um, but I'll know for the future where the sell point is. The reason why it was so confusing is because usually when you tag a place it, it puts the marker pretty much where the actual trigger is. I was trying to put it here. I even went in here, but yeah, it's sort of just off to the side somewhere. Right, I'll see you back at the farm. There's not many places to put this, but I think probably just if I put the trailer in the shed again where it came from, that would be the most sensible place. Um, but yeah, first you need to take the tractor off. It is a good tractor. Obviously I, I, I sort of abuse it with the amount of weight that I make it pick up. It's only the little fent farmer, but it is good. Very handy. So we'll just pop it over here. And then we'll pop the trailer in here. It's a lot of popping. Uh, yeah, right, so yeah, I think probably after this what we'll do is we'll go over to our new farm. Because we do have many things to do over there. We bought it a few episodes ago and done nothing yet. Right, there we go. Okay, so here we are in the Massey Ferguson tractor. I found Chainsaw. And he is just in this field harvesting it. It is a canola field. And yeah, it's not really a crop which fills the combine very quickly, which gives me time just to go over to the silage pits and pick up our trailer. We actually do still have our articulated lorry trailer over there, or the big, big tipping trailer, but that has got some silage in it and we're going to keep that there until we need money desperately. Not that silage is going to give us too much on this map, it's not worth much at all. Uh, but yes, the tipping trailer should be here. Luckily it's a road to nowhere, kind of. <laughs> Pretty much just to our farm here. Or just to our silage pits. So there we go. Nice and empty. Clean as well. So we're ready to go. Ready to load up some canola. We actually do still have the other combine so I can help out which makes a nice change. Usually it's just me carting although I do prefer carting over harvesting. Just adds a bit more variety. So I can't believe how quickly we have progressed through this series. It's been crazy really. We tend to do 20 episodes and we're already, what are we on? 13 or 14? The time is flying. Right, this is nice. This is a, a good combine because we, we actually do have the header which just unfolds and you can put the, the drawbar out. There we go. And we can tow it around just like the case combine and the New Holland. It's a very good idea. Right, so let's head to the canola field. First, I need to get out of here, it's a bit tight.
Yeah, I didn't realise how many crops we actually did still have outstanding on the existing farm. I suppose we should probably get all this area harvested first and then we can move across and do the new farm which has some potatoes and some wheat. Thing is we've already got a big potato field here so it's going to be a bit of a job. It's going to be a huge potato harvesting session. So that's why blasting through the canola field and any kind of combinable crop is a good thing to do so that we can get onto those more long-winded jobs I suppose you could say where there is plenty of carting involved Okay, well, clearly it is going to be a bit hard to keep up with the other fields and even this one. So I wasn't going to do this, I wasn't going to empty the silage trailer, but I am going to, because it is just a really good trailer. So it's just so handy to have. We might as well just sell all the silage which we have. There's only a tiny piece left actually in the pit, the majority is in the trailer itself. So we'll just finish loading, and then we'll head off and get rid of it. Not that we're going to get much for it, it's like nothing. Because we have to sell it at the bale sell point, was it? Not the BGA. Right, let's just spin around here. Then, all we have to do is move the conveyor belt across and switch it on. Come on, over here somewhere. Ooh, that's weird. That's not even fermented. Uh, anyway, yes, start engine, turn on belt, and unload here, I suppose. Is that going to do it? Well, it certainly started the first one. There we go. And it should sell all of it. I hope it does. Well, not sell, but load all of it. It's stopped. Okay. Uh, probably have to bear with me here. We can boom it out a bit more. There we go. So, surprisingly, the pit fill level is actually still 23,000 litres. Just there. Uh, but really it shouldn't have an issue with picking it up, it, it got all this piece from the back, from all the way over there, um, so we'll just wait. It will all fit in, we're only 22% full. So yeah, I'll just go back over here, see if there's any car, oh it's full, again, unbelievable. Uh, yes, so the last piece is going to have to go in this trailer anyway, unless this one can get back in time. I'll just do it. Yes, I'll, I'll just race over to the sell point. We'll get it sold. But the Opti liner is definitely going to be needed next time in the potato field and the sunflower field. I feel to go down here way too often. But I did see a, a suggestion in the 
previous video's comment section saying just to open the, uh, the roller door so you can drive through the cell point. It's a very good idea. So I have done. It is some of these uh, comments left by my viewers who improve the videos and just make things easier, really. I didn't have a massive problem with reversing, but it definitely speeds things up. Right, and actually we're getting loads of money for these uh, full trailer loads. It's like £25,000, yeah, pretty much. So, uh, surprisingly, at the time of recording this, just now, literally, one second ago, well, one minute ago, let's not be too dramatic, um, the uh, new expansion, new add-on, has just been announced for Farming Simulator, but I've probably already done a video on it by the time you watch this video. On my Twitter feed, it literally says one minute ago, the Alpine expansion. Sounds interesting. So I'm just going to take this back to the field, then I'll jump into the Scania, hopefully that trailer has loaded up now, and we'll take it over to the cell point, and then we will call it a day. Be good to uh, have everything completed, all the silage sold, and all the canola sold, we're actually doing really well for money as well. Now despite being over halfway through the series, we're not going to just finish before we have totally explored the new area which we have recently bought. If we have to go beyond 20 episodes we will do, we have done before, oh look at this, all set up for us, nice, artistic, nothing like a bit of symmetry. Is that going to fill it completely again? No, I, I find it hard to believe. But it's still going. <laughs> That's amazing. I'm just taking a look and uh, Chainsaw is in the scan here doing the silage, so we will take this once more. But don't worry, I'm going to jump cut it. I have been on that road quite a bit today. That's a lot of carting. We're not going to the same place though as Chainsaw. It takes about five minutes to get up here. What is this? How did he get there? He was nowhere near me. Okay, well maybe we are going to the same place. I'm sure that wasn't the best place for silage before. I suppose, uh, yeah, prices do change. No, he's going there. There is a cell point just behind us. I have to go much further today. So we got £26,544 from that silage. That actually doesn't sound too bad. But at the BGA, it would have been much more. This man is always walking out in front of tractors. He did it before. Come on, keep going. Oh, come on. Get onto the pavement. Well then, viewers. Let's just tip the load. We'll finish off. But look at the bank account balance. It's very impressive. Not bad at all. Uh, so next time we're probably going to be starting on the potato harvest. We're most likely going to have those oversized harvesters, maybe even two of them. But yeah, we're going to have to uh, do quite a bit of carting too. Who knows, we might have two of the OptiLiners. They are very good. But that is another £19,367, which brings our total almost to 300000 Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.